Okay, okay, okay. What's going on, Sean? I, I believe mm -hmm. um, in the next few, um, I'm, in, I'm currently in San Antonio, my man. Where, where are you traveling from? You know what? I am, I am traveling from Columbus, Ohio. Um, great city, great, you know, environment. But you know what? San Antonio is amazing. That Dagon River Walk is, is just uh, probably one of the wonders of at least the United States. You got to see the river walk. It's amazing. And I agree. I love going down the river walk. I've run on the river walk. I enjoy yeah. the river walk. Um, the restaurants are amazing, but the view, like you said, is just going yeah. along the river rock walk yeah. is amazing. Yeah. I've been there uh, about a half dozen times, and uh, it's still a brand new experience. I love that place. Man. I enjoy it too, my man. So where, where were you traveling before? We should be live. They're, they're going to take us live in about another couple of minutes. And then yeah, I, know, I, know, I know you're going to rock the house. We're going to do what we do. But where were you traveling before? Um, man, you, you know what? I've probably been outside of Hawaii. I've been to every state. I've been to every state. I've been in about uh, 15, 20, 20 different countries. Um, I'm just traveling and investing in the world's greatest resource, which is people. I love to invest in people. Uh, I absolutely love it. I adore it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Texas is a uh, yeah. Texas is a uh, Texas is a very unique place. It's like a little country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, I would I would agree 100. Yeah. percent I love it. The food here is just amazing, by the way. Um, and there's always like little small restaurants to go to. So I'm I'm excited. I'm excited about what you're gonna be sharing. I'm excited about our new studio, my man. This is like really yeah. cool stuff, and you're looking like a just a like, like a rock star over there. There you go. There you go. You know what? Thank you. And you know, listen, I've been watching you and uh, yeah, man, you're doing good. Thanks a lot, man. It's because of <laughs> folks like yourself and others who show up, um, share your expertise, you share your experience. You make a difference for folks every single night, man. So without folks like you agreeing to be here and share your expertise, it wouldn't happen. I'm going to check just to make sure that we are alive, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go over here hit the button, let me hit the magical button. Uh, let me see here. If we're live, for those folks that are out there, I'm gonna do a mic check, two, three, four. I think we're live, mic check, two, three, four. Uh, let me do a check in. Uh, Monica, Butts Baker, if you can hear us, say Shay, we hear you. If you're out there and you can hear us, Erica, let me, Eric, let me know you can hear me. Eric, by the way, Sean, is a great brother. You got to meet him. He does Marriage to Win, him and his wife down there in Florida. So if you want to go somewhere warm and hang out, man, they do amazing things down there. You got D. Bolden is on here. Leroy McKenzie's on there. Uh, do me a favor, if you would, Sean, do a mic check like one, two, three, just so we can hear it. Um, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? You must not have grew up in the salt and pepper days. Like, mic check, one, two, one, no, two. What happened to I two, three, four? Salt and pepper. Microphone check. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at, least, at least check one. Be check two. Come on, man. <laughs> check three. Where are you from, man? Aren't, I thought you was from, aren't you from Ohio? Like, where are you originally from? Dude, I'm from the south side of Columbus, Ohio. But let me tell you, we used to get tapes every week from a radio station in New York called WBLS. Uh-huh. And we would get these FedEx or overnighted to us, and we would listen to this daggone radio show with like Red Alert and those guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that, that is so amazing. We got we got your girl uh, Ngazi's in the house. Was up in Ghazi from New York, uh, New York. So nice yeah. and named it twice. <laughs> um, David Pavitt is in the house. I think I met David Pavitt when I was out there in Virginia. By the way, name mm -hmm. sounds for me. He's the only like I think it's P A V I K. He's the only, I think it's Pat Vick. I think he's from Florida. He drove when I was at the Danny Johnson event, by the way, Sean. I think you introduced me to him. He drove all the way from Florida to the Danny Johnson event. Amazing individual. Dana. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's cool. He's on here now. Uh, Dr. Shana Lewis is on here. She's amazing. Um, I'm getting the cue that they can hear us. So I'm looking over at the producers. We're going to go and get started. They give me the cue here in five, four. I love doing this part. It's my favorite part. Three, two, one. Take it away. <laughs> Let's go. Game time. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, check, for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? 
You better be running. That's right, that's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. My name is Shea Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shea Brown, the founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network, and I'm super excited. I'm over the moon because welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. And we are excited because this is one of those episodes where we get to deliver on the mission of the Happy Entrepreneur Network. And our mission is, our belief is, the results that show up in your life, and you have none other than Sean Harper is going to talk about that, is just as important as the results to show up in your bank account. And you have none other than Sean Harper who's going to be on here and he's going to be talking about that. And so I just couldn't wait. I was excited um, because I know what this will do for you. I know that this is your year. I know that this is your time. And I know the impact that every single one of you in a happy entrepreneur tribe want to make on the community and on the world at large. So I want to welcome Tammy Anderson. I want to welcome Jewel Elliott. What's up, Jewel Elliott? I want to welcome Katisha Batiste. Hey, Sean, you remember meeting Katisha Batiste at the Danny Johnson event? She was there with me. Yes. Yeah, she's yeah. on now. She's watching in the front row. Anisha, what's up, Anisha? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You got Justin on the line. You got William Byers on the line. You got, hey, my brother Kwame Brown is watching. You got Janina Brown. You got MC on the line. What's up to everyone? Here's what I like to do as we get started. One of the things I would like to share is one of the well, it's one of my favorite segments, Sean. And don't worry, Sean's on here. We got a lineup with Sean. Sean's ready to deliver. If you came to play to win, if you believe that life is a game, then I want you to know that it's time to play to win. And only champions are here right now. We're not talking about yeah. being on any team. We're talking about not being on a championship team. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are in the world, Sean's going to talk about how to be on a Hall of Fame team. See, it's one thing to be on a team. It's another thing to be on a Hall of Fame team. And you can be on your own Hall of Fame team. But first, Sean, let me do a mic check, mic check so they can hear you. Sean, can you hear me out there? I can hear you. I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. So, Sean, there's a, my favorite segment I like to do. It's called Champions Creed. Champions Creed. And one of the things that we believe in the Champions Creed is that we like to encourage other entrepreneurs. I want to make sure you're showing both of them. There they go. We like to encourage. We like to encourage both. We like to encourage other entrepreneurs. We like to uplift entrepreneurs. We like mm. to let them know that we are a family at the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. So one of my favorite segments, Sean, before we get going, one of my favorite, of my favorite segments, segments is to do the Champions Creed. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up the Champions Creed. They're going to show that in just a moment. They're going to show that. I'm going to read it, and then we're going to encourage other folks. The Champions Creed. I want you all to see it. Can you guys, can you guys all see it? Can they see it right now? Good. The Champions Creed. I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, and boy have I failed, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail, but I keep trying, and I keep trying, and I keep trying. Sean, those words are powerful. But for everyone that's listening right now, 
Before I come to you, I want you to read those words. I, I know you didn't agree to do this, but do you mind reading those words and encouraging another entrepreneur, encouraging another small business owner, encouraging another mom or dad who get up every single day to provide for their family? Do you mind doing that? Do you mind reading those words? Can I ask you to do that? <laughs> sure. Okay. <clears throat> but wait, wait, wait. But before you do it, one of the things I want everyone to do right now, this is not for Sean Harper. This is not for Shea Brown. This is for another entrepreneur. I want you to encourage them. This is how we all can participate in the happy entrepreneur tribe, how we can hug on each other, how we can love on each other. What you can do is you can look right below the video. You can look right below the video. And I want you to write these words. Just write these words. You are a champion. You're not talking about yourself. You're, you're saying this to someone else. You're saying you are a champion. Hashtag serve so big. Our mantra over this season is we're going to serve so big. So you look right below the video, and this is for the entrepreneur that maybe had a setback. This is for the entrepreneur that's doing really, really well, but they're so stressed. They're so overwhelmed because they got to keep it going. And this yeah. is just to give them a pat on the back. This is to give them two thumbs up. Look right below the video. Look right below the video right now and write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag serve so big. You are a champion. Hashtag serve so big. And when you see someone write those words, when you see that bat signal get, go up, then I want you to hit the like button. I want you to hit the heart button. I want you to say, yes, you are, because this is your way of participating. This is your way of giving to someone else, because we believe in the giver's economy. The person that outgives the competition, well, guess what they do? They out earn the competition. So we here to serve so big. You look right below the video and you do that right now. I see Christy's out there saying you are a champion. Hashtag serve so big. Tara's joined. Art Holmes is joined. Loretta said you are a champion. Hashtag serve so big. I see Irvin Chessmake. He's in the house. What's going on? Hashtag serve so big. Sean Harper, seven time NFL player, owns his own business. Will you read those words, champion's yeah. creed, for someone that's out there? Kalencia, thank you, said you are a champion. David Pavlik said you are a champion. All right, let's go over to it. Let's show, it. Let's show, let's show Sean the words. Let's hear those <laughs> words. As Sean said those words, you read those words with him. Sean, take it away, my brother. Awesome. Champion's creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. That and, is awesome. And keep trying, Sean. And keep trying, yes. Sean. And keep and, trying. And, you gotta have and, the Puff Daddy yes. remix. What generation did you grow up in, man? What about the Puff Daddy remix? <laughs> and keep trying. And keep trying. And keep trying. That's the Happy Entrepreneur remix version on that. Look. Jeannie Brown put, you are a champion, hashtag serve so big. Chelsea put, you are a champion, hashtag serve so big. Sean, they're going to go read about how wonderful you are and what you did in the NFL. They're going to learn how you take care of your family and how you serve your family, you serve your church, you serve so many other folks. They're going to learn about your business and all the money you make as a business owner and the celebrity clients you have. They're going to learn all that. But do you mind? taking a step back. Can we slow down and then we'll speed up? Can you take a moment, and I know we don't have a, a list of questions or anything, but can you take a moment, Sean, and just talk about maybe a challenge you had, maybe a setback that you've had, and what lesson did you learn? So here's the question, the setback you had, what lesson did you learn that we can take away as entrepreneurs? Because you got Ardea Brooks putting, you are a champion, hashtag serve so big. You got Eric Williams in the house. I see you, Eric Williams. What's up, Noop? He says, he's in the house. You are a champion. Take it away. Take it away, my man. Take it away. Just tell us about the time you, you know, you had a setback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if I could um, touch on that word failure for a quick second, the probably one of the greatest teachers in life is failure and learning uh, from mistakes, learning from miscalculations, adjusting. Um, that's so huge. Unfortunately, we are taught that failure is such a bad thing, um, and 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 it actually hinders people from you know jumping out, taking opportunities, taking chances, falling forward. Um, you have to be able to risk that. You have to be able to push past your adversity because adversity can break you, but it also can make you a record breaker. Um, and being 
just having my life filled with failures. I, I remember uh, repeating the first grade. Mm. Uh, by the time I was in the fifth grade, I was documented with four to five learning disabilities, uh, being kicked out of a couple schools because of disciplinary issues. Leaving high school with a 1.62 accumulative GPA, not on my ACT, voted most likely to fail. Believe it or not, I stuttered my entire life. I still stutter. Uh, and 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 having those learning disabilities and, and, and having the challenges in stuttering, being a sub-average football player, I realized that I'm not disabled. I'm uniquely enabled. And that every one of my weaknesses was was one day going to, going to become my strength. And so I attacked my weaknesses. I began to work on my weaknesses. I began to concentrate on my weaknesses to push through. Sometimes you go through, sometimes you push through. Uh, and from that, being able to you know, go off to a junior college, go to Indiana University, uh, draft any NFL third pick in a fourth round, and the rest is history. Uh, becoming a business owner for over 15 years, uh, speaking all over the world, um, uh, and, and and just being able to invest in the world's greatest resource, honestly, which is people, loving, because I realize that there are people who are stuck in the process, and they're looking at their setbacks, and they're looking, uh, feeling discouraged, and they're looking at their failures as if that is the status or the state of their life. And that doesn't have to be. You can get out of that quicksand. You can get out of that rut. All you need is just to make a few changes and a few adjustments, and you can win. A few changes, a few adjustments, and you can win. How true is that? First of all, thanks for being authentic. Thanks for sharing that message. Um, as I'm listening to you, what I'm hearing is hashtag I am enough. Um, one of the things that you believe in is that you were enough. And now we're going to learn about the mentors you had. We're going to learn about the folks that have helped you along the way. We're going to learn about some of your core values and some of your, some of your principles and some of your beliefs. But here's what I'd like for everyone to do that's watching right now. For those folks that are listening, look right below the video. Look right below the video. And I want you to write these words. Just use this hashtag. And this is the bat signal that you're willing to cooperate with someone else. This is the bat signal that you're willing to be in a network. This is the bat signal that you're willing to do, be what? Part of a collaboration team. Look, yeah. look below the video and start with these yeah. words. Hashtag, I am enough. Everyone that can hear the sound of my voice right now, look right below the video and write these words. Hashtag, I am enough. Hashtag, I am enough. I am enough in my life. I am enough in my business. I am enough for my family. I am enough in my community that I am enough that God made me or whomever you believe in. I happen to be a Christian, but some of you might believe in the universe and believe in this, but that God created you to be enough as you are right now. Sure, you're going to get better. But first, I want you to look right below that video. What's up, Cassandra uh, Fleming? What's up? Look right below the video, just like Eric Williams put hashtag I am enough. You know, Sean. In, in all of my personal professional development, I probably listen to, I don't know, 50,000 hours of audios, right? I probably watch, I don't know, at least 50,000 hours of videos. I've been to more seminars, read more books. But in all of my training, in all of my teaching, in all the mentors, in all the money I spent, I haven't read anywhere, no one's ever told me that when you beat yourself up, you do a better job. Yet every single day, with 70,000 thoughts being processed through our head, 90% of those are always negative to tell us why we can't do what we know that we can do. And I want you, before we get into all the wonderful stuff about you and you doing the training you're going to do, when you hear hashtag I am enough, why is it important for individuals every single day not to beat themselves up? And I know I do it. Even before we started this broadcast, right, you and I were talking. I was getting nervous. I was playing my little music. And you're like, sometimes I go inside my own head and I say, man, I get so nervous before every broadcast. I get so nervous before the camera goes on. I've got to run to the bathroom one last time. But I, when I go there and I look in that mirror, and this is what I want every single one of you to do, to write in hashtag I'm enough. I want you to tell yourself hashtag I am enough. And I want you to listen to the words from Sean Harper as he tells you why you're enough and why it's important to have your own positive affirmation. Sean, share that with me. You got Clark Garrison is watching. Douglas says, I am enough. Jeannie Brown says, hashtag, I am enough. Christy Anderson said, hashtag, I am enough. Clark Garrison, who you've got to connect with, he owns Survival Ready Network, man, the largest 
uh, blog pro- podcast exists out there on the East Coast. He said, hashtag, I am enough. David DeRigo said, hashtag, I am enough. Sean, talk to the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe, by the way, yeah. about hashtag, I am enough. Yeah, so so all, all actions stem from thoughts. Mm. All thoughts are birthed out of your belief system. And that's where probably 90% of all the success gurus uh, positive thinkers, that's probably where they stop. But there's one step that's even deeper. Your belief system comes from what's called your self-concept. There's a guru, uh, 50s and 60s, named Maxwell Maltz. He wrote a book called Psycho-Cybernetics. And it is a, an actual, uh, an amazing study of a plastic surgeon and what he discovered. I don't have time to really go into that. But your self-concept is so important uh even before you begin an actual endeavor, even before you approach anything, your self-concept has to be solidified, victim or victor. Let me put it to you uh, another way. If you went to a amusement park and you're getting on a roller coaster and the roller coaster is 200 feet in the air, 200 feet in the air, and you're at the top and you're ready to go down. Now, the perspective that you have is that This is going to be enjoyable or scary, but it's not going to kill me. That's my perspective. I know that. So since I know it's not going to kill me, I can enjoy the ride. But if you were 200 feet in the air and you did not know if you were going to live or die, you would have a much different experience. And so before you even approach, before you even walk into, before you even step into a different endeavor or go into your office the next day, you have to you have to have it convinced, solidified uh, that you are a winner. That is who you are because you will only manifest who you are. If you internally, if there's instability, you will manifest instability. You will manifest, you will create who you are. So you have to fight for that. And unfortunately, marketers, they make millions, no, billions of dollars telling you who you are and who you're not. thus putting you in a reactionary uh position. And as long as you can react, you can never proact. So knowing who you are, knowing the perspective in which you are going to play the game is so important. I'm going to play as a winner. I'm going to play as a victor. Will I win every round? No. But the battle's mine. I've already won it. And now my job is to manifest the win. Manifest the win. I love it. I love it. You know, in a moment, we're going to we're going to go to um the number one there, the number one there, we'll go to that in just a moment, dreams in just a moment. But before we show that, before we show that, for everyone that's out there, I, I want to welcome Sean Harper to the Happy Entrepreneurs Show. And we do that as a tribe. We do that as a community. What's up, Cheryl, Diane? What's up, Demano? De thanks for joining. By the way, we do that as a tribe. What's up, Amber Woodford? Amber Woodford is always on here, by the way, Sean. She shares it with her tribe, like almost everyone is watching right now, and she's in charge of the Blind Association, a wonderful woman, just a wonderful uh-huh. woman who's always listening to our voice very, 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 very carefully. Thank you for joining again. We're Here's what I would like for you to do. I'd like for you to look right below the video, look right below the video, and let's welcome Sean Harper. And here's what I want you to do. He's got started. He didn't know he was going to jump in there like this. Like He's like, what? Yes, yeah, Sean, it's like showtime. It's like lights on, I game is on, like, the ref is with me. <laughs> it's time to go. This is how we do it, man. There's no agenda, brother. We just roll with the punches. That's what I love. But I want to stop for a moment, and everyone is watching, do me a favor. Look right below the video and say, welcome, Sean. Or say, Sean, you're doing a great job. Or, Sean, we hear you. Or, Sean, thank you for the golden nugget. See, when you get started sometimes, and you're on the other side, you're like, can they hear me? Do I look okay? <laughs> Am I in the camera? Um, am I right. saying something like giving value? So do me a favor. Just pause for a moment and just look right below the video and do just like Amber Woodford did. She said, hello, Mr. Harper. Uh, Leander Bonds Border says, welcome, Mr. Harper. So look right below and say, hello. Say, we welcome you. Say, thanks for showing up. Thanks for being here. Let's give him a warm, warm welcome so they know that he's welcome right here because we know the hashtag Sean is enough, just like you are enough. 
this is your time. I promise you it's going to be a good use of your time for every single one that's joining. Jeannie said hello. She's out there, by the way. Amber said, I am listening. Great job so far, by the way. So, Sean, you're doing a fantastic job so far. We appreciate it. David says, let's win, Sean. Let's win. I like that. That must be a Sean thing. I like that. Uh, Chrissy Anderson said, welcome, Sean Harper. Glad to have you here. Thanks a lot. Jeannie Brown said, welcome, Sean. We appreciate you. Um, if we can, producer, let's let, let's go to the dream. Let's go to clip number one. Let's go to the dream of Sean Harper. And we come back, Priscilla. When we come back, Eric, Eric says, welcome. Great message just to kick off. When we come back, go to number one. Yes, yep, uh, number two on here. Yes, Sean Harper. You got it. Okay. This is Shay. I got this. I got this. I'm trying to listen, Sean. I'm trying to listen and just let the producers do what they do, right, by the way. I'm trying to give commands and everything. Like, no, man. I got I to gotta hang out in my new digs, man. I got new digs. <laughs> I'm loving it. All right, let's go number one. Let's 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 go number one. I'm I'm in training. I'll get it. I'll get it. Outside of faith and and love, there's nothing more powerful than the dream. The dream transcends time. The dream transcends all laws of nature. The dream transcends social economic settings. The the dream transcends colors. The dream is either for you or meant to pass through you, but it should never be all about you. The dream. The dream. Where is your dream? Have you allowed life to steal your dream? Have you allowed people to steal your dream, to crush your dream, to break your dream? If they break your dream, they'll break you. Never allow life to steal your dream. Find it. Find it. There was a call. And there was a purpose in my life. And each and every one of you, there is a dream. There is a calling. There's a purpose. And there's a destiny over your life. And the dream is like a seed. Don't ever forget this. You can often count the number of seeds in an orange, but you can never count the number of oranges in the seed. Woo! Woo! Sean, the dream. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That last, why did they cut it? I mean, I, was, I, mean, I wanted to hear about the seeds. I wanted to hear about the orange. I wanted to hear a little more about the dream. Hey, look, Sean. Um, I got... I gotta get you to make a comment. I just got to. I mean, I didn't. They weren't. You weren't supposed to play that one, but I, I like that one. That was good. That was that was good. You did. A, you did. A, you did. A, you did a good job. No, it's great. I like it. But first, John, I want you to come back talk about the dream, and that's going to connect into this whole concept we have on today is my January first. Today mm -hmm. is my January first. We'll show that not now, in a minute. The concept. Sean, during this segment, it's going to tie into the dream. So you're going to be talking about the dream, just like you were on that stage just a moment ago. But I want every one of you watching right now just to imagine where you were back on December 31st, how excited you were. It was going to be a new year, new opportunity. You were going to do things so much differently. And after a couple drinks <laughs> on the back of a napkin, cocktail napkin for you probably, you wrote down your goals and you were dreaming big. You were dreaming about where you were going to be. And then... We look up where you are now. And some of you are doing very, very well. I get it. Some of you have had some high highs and some low lows. I get it. But here's what I want you to know. You can have that same enthusiasm. You can have that same mindset. You can have that same belief. You can have that same dream and you can take more action than you've ever taken. Here's the affirmation. Here's what I want you to hear and I want you to write right below and I want you to repeat after me that today is my January 1st. We're not going to wait till the December 1st. Today is my January 1st. Today I have new opportunities. Today is my January 1st. I can start over my business. Today is my January 1st. I can start over in my health. Today is my January 1st. I can bless someone else. Today I get a new start. I get, a, I get to re-energize. I get to start all over again. My past does not equal my future. Let's show them. Let's show them that. Let's show them that one clip. I want all of you listening right now. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. New opportunities. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to take more action than I've ever taken in my life. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to own the day and own my life. Let me say it again. Today is my January 1st. I'm going to own my life and own I'm going to own the day and own my life. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And when someone writes, today is my January 1st, I want you to encourage them. I want you to say yes. I want you to inspire them. Matter of fact, hit the share button and say, today is my January 1st. Doesn't that just feel good? Don't you hear the excitement? In fact, Sean, can you repeat after me for just a moment? While someone hits the heart button, I see Eric said, today is my January 1st. Dr. Shana Lewis says, today is my January 1st. Sean 
Diane says, today is my January 1st. Monica Butts Baker said, today is my January 1st. And Ghazi put, today is my January 1st. Clark Garrison put, today is my January 1st. You look right below the video. You can participate. This is for all of us. Say, today is my January 1st. I'm going to ask Sean to repeat after me. And he's going to say, today is my January 1st on the count of three. And as he do that, you, you, Jan Reed, keep, keep putting it down there. She said, I'm going to own my day. I'm going to own my life. Sean. Repeat after me. Just, I'm going to say today is my January 1st, and you repeat after me on the count of three. Are you ready? Yep. All right. One, two, three. Today is my January 1st. Okay, okay. That was, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Now we're going to take you into the locker room. <laughs> we're in the locker room. We're going to play the biggest good. game of our life, baby. It's like let's show let's time. Go, let's go, let's go. Come on. <laughs> it's like let's show go, time. Listen, no one is in the office suite. Everybody's going home for the day, so let's go. Come on. Let's bring it. I just had to do it, man. I had to have something to say. So I'm going to do it again. A little more energy, a little more enthusiasm for Douglas, who put today is my January 1st. For Jeannie, who put today is my January 1st. For David DiRigo, who put today is my January 1st. I'm going to own today. I'm going to own my life. On the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three. Today is my January 1st. <laughs> Sean, I believe you, man. I believe today is your January 1st. I believe our past doesn't equal our future. I believe that we have unlimited possibility that this is our year. This is our month. This is our day. Look, I'm going to turn over you for just a moment, man. And I want you to talk for a second just about today is my January 1st. What you hear when you hear that, what that means to you, and then how do you relate that to your dreams? Because you talked about your dreams, man. You talked about the apple. You talked about the seeds. Look, I need you to bring it all together for us. So let me turn it over to you. When you're here today, is my January 1st. What goes through your mind and your heart, my brother? Yeah, so it starts with the dream. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the why. And then when you put the dream and the why together, you get the momentum, and that's your win. And so what I do is that I look at it as my goal, when I wake up tomorrow at 5, 5.30 in the morning, Kicking everything around. The first thing I think of, honestly, is win today. Win today. And I write down, or there's three or four areas, winning nutrition, winning money, uh, winning in relationships, and winning in giving. Okay? Mm. One thing that you said earlier that was amazing is that you, you put giving as part of winning and part of success. Yes. And that's huge, especially for entrepreneurs. Listen to me. Listen to me. It doesn't come to you if it can't get through you. And one of the things that I do is that I love breaking rules, but I never break laws. Mm. And if you don't know the laws, it doesn't matter because the laws will break you. So giving, sowing and investing the law of reciprocity, sowing and reaping karma, whatever you want to call it. These laws are like are like. Everything for an actual for 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 an actual entrepreneur is learning the spiritual laws. But back to what I was talking about earlier is that you know every day I get up, I'm like I'm going to win. I'm going to win in these areas, and I set out the day with intention. Another law on how to win in these areas. And at night, when everyone's put to sleep, when I'm up all by myself, I grade myself. Did I win in this area? Did I win in this area? And guess what? Every day is not a win. And I'll be honest, there's sometimes two or three days, you know, I'm going without a win and I need to call some accountability. I need to make some adjustments. But if I have enough wins, the victory takes care of itself. When I played at Indiana, I played a left tackle at Indiana University. My offensive coordinator would always say to me, Sean, in order for us to win this game, we have to get 20 first downs. Wow. So my focus is. I need, or the offensive line needs to get 20 first downs. We get 20 first downs, there's a 90% chance that we'll win this game. So I keep one eye on the goal and one eye on the process. One eye on the goal and one eye on the process. And I put my energy in the process and I put my dream or my focus on the goal. You see, because if you can keep the focus, you move into creation but you're also moving something much, much more powerful, and that's manifestation. And so I'm focused on I'm I'm focused on where I'm going, but my other half of the energy is winning the day, and I'm on the process.
I love that. Winning the day, winning the day. When you give us those four key areas you gave us just a second ago that you measure yourself in, everyone jot these four areas down. There's four areas that you measure yourself in every single day. Sean, will you repeat those four areas so that we have it? And then tomorrow, I want you to measure yourself. We want to play to win. What are those four areas again? Recap those, if you will. You know what? Um, I have, I win in money. Yep. I win in nutrition. Mm -hmm. I win in family and relationships. And I win in giving. And I measure these four areas. Am I winning in these areas? Am I winning or am I losing? So when they, when they say today is my January 1st, are you winning in money? Are you winning in nutrition? You said nutrition instead of health. That's very interesting. I want you to talk about that for a moment. You talk about winning with family and relationships and winning and giving, winning and giving. Now, I know this may sound obvious, uh, and it may be so true. Now, look, one of my good friends, his name is Delator McNeil, he, he taught me this saying. He says, you know what? You got to see it before you see it or you'll never yes. see it, right? So yes. Yes. the reason yes. I'm asking to write this down is I want them to see it before they see it because they may never see these four areas and they may never measure themselves. And one of my beliefs is, one of my core values is, what gets measured gets managed. Someone jot that down in your notes. Someone look right below the video and jot this down in your notes. What gets measured gets managed. I'll say it again. What gets mm -hmm. measured gets managed. So it's possible you may not be measuring these areas, so it's hard to manage it unless it's happening by osmosis, just floating in your head. Sean gave right. those four areas. I'm going to ask him to give it to him just one more time and talk a little bit about nutrition and giving. For those folks that are out there, by the way, I see Delta McNeil. Hey, Delta McNeil is watching, by the way, one of the top 32 speakers in the world, by the way. If you haven't met him, Sean, got to connect you. The brother's just bad to the bone. Morella's on here. Morella's on here from Australia. We have folks all over the world. She's on hey, here from hey. Australia. <laughs> She's watching right now, by the way. Monica Butt said, win with the money. And Gaji says, win with nutrition. Um, um, Cheryl says, win with money and nutrition. Tanya Walton is watching right now. Amber says, what gets measured gets managed. I hear you, family and relationships. Look, uh, Sean, I can't ask you. We only got so much time, right? We only got so much time. You gave those four. For everyone that's watching right now, you may want to get the notes. If you want to get the notes, you can text the word revenue right now. Text the word revenue to the number 202-999-3515. Let me tell that to you right now. Everyone, we're going to do a bonus gift. It's going to be a bonus, super duper over the top bonus gift. But here's what you got to do. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So look right below the video, look right below the video, and you can take out your phone and text 202, like type that in right now, 999-3515, and text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. Text the word revenue. Make sure you get the notes. Make sure you get the secret business toolbox and the special bonus gift. Sean, talk to us for a moment about any one of those four categories, nutrition, family and relationships, money, or giving. You pick which two, and I want you all to listen because I only got so much time, so I'm asking this to give a quick point and a lesson in any sure. one of those areas. Those are areas that he measures. Those are some of his own core values. We'll get into his beliefs and stuff a little later. But Sean, can you take a moment and talk about any one of those areas and why it's super important to you to measure? Because what I like you're doing, Sean, is you're applying one of the principles I believe in is that less is more. Yeah. Less is more. Sometimes people have a long list of things and they have so many things to measure, they don't measure anything. But you said, yeah. no, nah, I've got four core areas and I measure whether I win in these areas. So talk about one or two of those core areas for a moment, if you will. Yeah, so before I even, even hit this mm -hmm. or hit the four, you have to understand that as humans, we're not static which means that we don't stay the same. We're either getting better or we're getting worse. We're either getting richer or we're getting poor. Like if you have a million dollars in the bank, a year from now, you have less money because inflation grows at a certain percentage a year. So you have to constantly and continually manage or track these, me, four areas uh, every single day to make sure that you're ahead of the curve. And so I mentioned, and um, and you questioned, I mentioned nutrition. You know, oftentimes, you know, I have, a, I have a crazy, you know, a real crazy perspective. And, you know, I'm not in the best of shape. But I'm like, you know, am I going to spend all this money in gyms and lifting and, you know, health and blah, blah, blah? Or do I just focus on the nutritional part of it? If I can put the right food in, if I can get the right 
vitamins, if I can get enough water, if I can get enough sleep, then it will take care of my health, it will take care of my longevity. But if I focus on the health only, well then I am focusing on the symptom and not the disease, which the Western mindset always deals with the symptoms to the disease. I'm like, you know what, let's go to the crux, let's go to the core. Good food, organic food, Get away from, you know, certain types of you know foods or GMOs or things as such. And let's just get some good, um, balanced nutrition. That's number one. Number two is giving. And this is, you know, and this is a story that I've never really shared, but I'm going to share it today. Okay. Um, I am one of six kids. And my father divorced my mom. And, and uh, one day she was crying. And she was... Uh, in tears. And she's like, God, how, how am I going to raise all six of these kids by myself? I don't have a job. Um, What's going to happen? And she said, the Lord spoke to her. And what the Lord told her was that if you give $20 a month or a certain amount of money every month to the poor, I will always take care of you. And we're in the hood, Jay. We're in the south side of Columbus, and we've never went without. And she taught me a very powerful lesson that um, when you give, when you sow um, into uh, God's kingdom, that he will supernaturally cover you and protect you. Um, And that's something that um, really struck a chord when you mentioned it earlier. Uh, Sowing and reaping. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't come to you if it can't get through you. Some of the most... uh, uh, Probably some of the most wealthiest, uh, influential people in the world are some of the biggest givers as well. So, yeah. Wow. Thank you for sharing, man. Thanks for being authentic. For those folks that are watching right now, you're here with none other than the Sean Harper, seven-time NFL player, a business owner, and just a good, kind human being. Yes, he's married. Yes, he takes care of his family. (laughs) Yes, he's a business owner. Just a kind, cool human being. And we come back, he's going to talk about the NFL, the lessons he learned in the NFL, and how they apply to business and to life. Look, I promise you, you don't want to miss it. Today is your January 1st. For all folks out there, Albert Walker's out there, here's what I like to do, Sean, if it's okay, um, and then we're going to come back to you. But is it okay if folks share what they do in their business? Is it okay if they do that for just a moment? Sure. Because sometimes people, you know, they don't want to put their, their business down in the feed because these, these things go viral. They get shared out and they think they're advertising. But I'm glad you're like that. So here's what I like to do. For everyone that's watching right now, Sean's a business owner, by the way. He's given permission for you to share what you do in your business. Then this is really cool, but we're going to do it a certain way because we don't care about your celebrity clients. Don't care about those. We don't care about all the letters behind your name. Not tonight. Not this morning. Not this afternoon. What we care about is how you serve. So here's how we're going to frame the conversation. For those that know about this segment, get ready because he gave permission. I want you to look right below the video and I want you to put I help people dot 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 or I help businesses dot dot dot. And you can even put your website down. You can put your Facebook page down. You can put your Instagram page down. Now, why would you want to do that? Someone like Eric Williams. Why would you want to put I help people buy, sell, and invest in their homes, and then, Eric, put your website down. That's just an example. Why would you want to do that? Why? Because you want to collaborate with other business owners that are out there. You want to network with other business owners out there. You believe in the giver's economy, which he just talked about. That's one of the areas you measure. The person that outgives their competition, Jasmine, outearns their competition. So what do you do? Look right below the video and put I help people dot, 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 or I help businesses dot 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 and then put your website down if you don't like your website put your facebook page down if you don't like that put your instagram page down if you don't like that do something about it put your phone number down right but i want to wait for them to connect with you because right now you can hear sean harper you can see sean harper but sean harper can't see you sean harper can't hear you but he can hear you through the voice that you put when you look right below the video so do that And we're going to come back and acknowledge the business owners, the speakers, the authors, the coaches, the trainers, people that are into personal professional development. Those of you who get up every single day for one reason and one reason only. And that's to have more meaning in the world. Is to have more impact in the world. And yeah, you want to make a difference. And yeah, you're going to make a dollar as well. 
but this is what this is for. So Eric, for example, put, I help people live the American dream of home ownership. Eric, realtor.com. Now, Eric, put your site down. You put realtor.com, so they might not be able to find you, by the way. There might be a lot of people on that site. So make sure you put that down. We're going to get queued up because in a moment, we're going to talk about, or we're going to show Dr. Kinnett, who's going to be talking about push the limit. Push the limit. We're going to go to that in about one minute, one minute, but I want all of you out there watching to spotlight your business. Share what you do. This is your moment to shine. You showed up. And so you get a chance to participate and get a chance to talk about what you do. Cheryl Diane put, I help women live up to their God-given potential without apology at up-level women. Thanks for sharing, by the way. Now, if you see people putting stuff down, make sure you hit the heart button. Hit the like button. Make sure you connect with them, right? If I'm a business owner, what better time than now than to share what I do? I would never, ever, ever get tired of sharing what I do. Sean, before I go to, to Dr. Connect, why should business owners always talk about what they do and how they serve? So Anisha put, I have a magazine for entrepreneurs. That's cool, but Anisha put, I help entrepreneurs extend their brand and their message through my magazine. Uh, David Palvek put, I help families create generational wealth through passive income. He put his phone number down. Sean, just in about you know, a minute or less, why should people always share what they do whenever they have an opportunity? Like Art Holmes, who put, I help people tell their stories using visuals. Now put your, put your website down so they can connect with you. Monica Butts put, I help people create powerful copy to communicate their business platforms. Sean, why should folks always share what they do? Why should they always put their website down? Well, because entrepreneurs, especially, uh, it's funny. In corporate America, you're like swimming in a pool. Entrepreneurs, you're swimming in the ocean. It's a mm -hmm. big difference. Number one, you need to know what type of fish is approaching you. <laughs> That's a different story. But... <laughs> You, you better know between a dolphin and a shark within a mile away, okay? It's a skill set that you kind of develop. But one thing I've learned is that in entrepreneurs, when you're out here in the ocean, your network is like your net worth, okay? Mm -hmm. And extending that network, each person knows up to 2,000 people. And so if you frame it, and you know, I love how you frame that, if you frame it correctly, if you form it correctly, if you bring it out correctly, then that person has the potential of, of 2,000 people behind him or her that can possibly help you or to uh, give you an opportunity or even an actual introduction. And then at the same time, now you've opened up the door for reciprocity, then now they can share and they can say, well, this is what I do, and if you really want to blow up, now you're running with him or her. Like, you know what? This is what this person's a painter. This person does this. This person does that. The connection now opens the door for spiritual blessings and reciprocity on both ends, whether they know somebody or you know somebody, which then will universally bring more opportunities to you. You have to get out your comfort zone because if you're not careful, your comfort zone will become your casket. It's very, very dangerous to uh, sit behind an actual computer terminal and think that you're going to engage and win in life. It's not going to happen. Wow. So powerfully said. For those folks that are taking action right now, we'll go back. When we come back, we'll, we'll read some of those. Let's go right now to Dr. Kinnett Thigpen, uh, Push the Limit. For those folks that are watching, you're here with none other than Sean Harper, seven-time NFL player. You're here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. Let's go over to Dr. Kinnett Thigpen. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kinnett Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you Hashtag next sister up. I'm here with you today in the Happy Entrepreneur's Tribe, and today is my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week. Push it past the limit. Push it past the limit. Now, we're historically used to hearing people say, push it to the limit. But when you push it to the limit, you're keeping yourself from reaching your dreams and your goals. Here's the thing. I like to go to the gym, and I have a goal of getting lean and getting toned. 
but I've been doing the same workout for eons. I have a workout called Keep It 100. So no matter what exercise I do, I do 100 reps. But I've been using the same weights forever. And I wonder why I'm not seeing progress or results as I push myself to my limit. You see, when you push yourself to the limit, you're doing the things that you know you can do. When you push yourself to the limit, you're gonna see little to no progress. When you keep yourself in the confines of your limit, you're keeping yourself in your comfort zone. Now in business, I challenge us to push ourselves past the limit. So yes, that might mean getting up 30 minutes earlier to do something. That might mean staying up 30 minutes later to get something completed. That might mean investing in a coach. That might mean asking questions, updating your strategic plan. It means you have to do something different to get different results. Push yourself past the limit. So I challenge you this week, push yourself past the limit, not to the limit. My name is Dr. K. Make it a great day. Make it a great day. I love it. Push yourself past the limit. For those folks out there, some of you are doing that right now. I see Vaughn is out there right now. Morella said, I help businesses and organizations to engineer greatness whatever, whenever it matters and deliver their best abilities. Push past your limits. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. Let's give Dr. Connect, Dr. K a shout out. Just write these words. Push past your limits. Push past your limits. Just put push past your limits. Some of you did that. When Sean said, hey, you're in a C, here comes a shark. You said, I better write down what I'm doing in my business right now, by the way. Thanks a lot. Arella, Morella put, I help people and organizations engineer greatness. Thanks so much. David DeRigo put, I help people connect and communicate. April and Phil put, I help families keep more of their income through financial strategies. Sh Dr. Shana Lewis put, I help women who are stuck create an extraordinary life design. She can put her website. Good job, drshanalewis.com. Good job. And Gaji said, I help women walk in their confidence. www.rosalindgaji.com. She's amazing. She's incredible. She, yes, yes. Douglas Pinckney put, I help people with commercial and residential HVAC. See, we got all type of folks on here right now, Sean. Uh, Delatrice Heaven Sent put, I help Motive, I have a motivational blog that encourages people to overcome and move forward. Jane Pulley put, I help entrepreneurs live in the blue ocean, helping people connect their relationships and health. Look, as you're seeing people put that down right now, Albert Watkins put, I help people save gold today and secure tomorrow. Make sure you connect with them. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure those are the folks you want to communicate with. And Gazi, who's very active, said, push past the limit. Dr. Shana said, push past your limit, by the way. Eric Williams said, push past your limit right, right now. Douglas said, push past your limit. Here's what I know. It's, everyone is writing right now, push past your limit. It might be uncomfortable. I'm sorry, it might be outside your comfort zone, but it's within your grasp. Let me say that again. It might That's be good. outside that zone of comfort, but it's within That's your good. grasp. You can reach out and you can grab it. I'm going to have Sean Harper, seven-time NFL player, a super duper business owner, a great family man, and a wonderful human being, and just a person with a big heart, a heart to give and a heart to serve. Talk about the lessons he learned in the NFL and how they apply to life and business. And before he does that, we're gonna go to number four, you think, we're gonna go to number four, you think. And we're gonna show just a little bit, we're gonna show a little bit uh, of Sean. And then Sean, we come back, as Chrissy Anderson put, push past your limits. As Crystal Cunningham put, push past your limits. She's out there. What's up, Crystal Cunningham? It's always a pleasure, by the way. We're going to go to You Think. We're going to go to You Think. Let's go and show that. When we come back, you're going to hear from Sean Harper. I can't wait. <laughs> this is the moment you've been waiting you for. You think that to be successful, you have to have this and this. All it takes is instruction, leadership, a little bit of accountability, humility, and fight. Never allow the world to steal your fight. Never allow people in situations and circumstances to steal your fight. It's the same fight you had when you was a kid. You dig it up, you find it. And you play this game to win. Play this game to win. Yes. Play this game to win. Yes. John Harper, I want to turn over to you, man. Tell us a little about the NFL. Tell us a little about the lessons you learned. And now this philosophy you have, if life is a game, play 
to win. Everyone get your paper, get your pen, take notes right now. What's up, Shelly Shelton? She's in the house, by the way. She's on here recently, by the way. She's on the Eric Thomas tour. She loves you, Sean. She loves you. She's watching you right now. No, you got Sean Harper. Told you he's going to be here. He's here right now. You're at the right place at the right time with the right man. I promise you to hear the right message. Play to win, no matter what hand you have. I love poker because in poker, you can win with any hand. You yeah. are enough. Sean, take it away, my brother. What lessons Huge. have you learned in the NFL? Well, probably one of the greatest lessons I've learned in the NFL is playing to win and understanding that you win before you begin. I touched on it earlier. And so at the you know, at a at a at a very high level in the NFL, everyone's a champion. And everyone thinks like a champion. Everyone behaves like a champion. I believe it was last week I was talking about the importance of your name. And that's so important, going back to your self-concept. You cannot grow past your name. And once you have your name, and once your name is defined, then that name then dictates the script of your life. And once the script of your life is dictated, then the script attracts the characters in your life. And then once you have the characters in your life, then you have a movie that everyone's watching, everyone's applauding, or everyone is critiquing. And you can't change with the opinions of people until you change the characters. And you can't change the characters until you change the script. And you can't change the script until you change your name. And so, which is why in the Bible, when God wanted to do something extraordinary, the first thing he attacked was your name. Change your character and change your name from Saul to Paul, from Israel to Jacob, or I'm sorry, in reverse, Jacob to Israel. Your name is so important. So the first thing that one of the first lessons I've learned in, you know, playing professional football is that your mindset is that I'm a champion. I'm a winner. And now everything that I do, every every move, everything correlates with that word win. We don't even understand the word lose. We can't even conceptualize the word lose because everything is a win or it's an actual lesson. The second thing I've learned playing in the NFL is that having an amazing, effective team, everything that we do is centered around teamwork. You know, it's kind of funny because we are not created to be successful. We're created to win, which is why. You live in the Washington, D.C. area. Um, if the Redskins lost every game for the next seven or eight years, I could walk into the stadium, watch a football game with no issue. But I'm if a they Steelers fan. Every, yes. <laughs> never. Sorry. <laughs> if I'm they a Steelers fan. Stand up, Skins. <laughs> if they won every single game for the next seven or eight years. You couldn't find the ticket. Why? Because your DNA identifies with winning. Man. Just like these kids are playing video games. When I was little, I played video games for like two, three hours, man. I would play Tempest and Defender and Miss Pac-Man. Why? Because I connect with winning, right? And, 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 and just the mere fact that you all hear me right now, you're one of two, three million sperm cells that made it. I mean, you've heard that cliche before. But think about what I'm saying is that what makes sports so amazing is that we is that the win connects with our DNA, but next to the win, you have to have a team to win. You have to have an effective and powerful team to win, not a team that works together, a team that works as one. And I've learned how, you know, people have different beliefs, different mindsets, different emotions and angry. But, man, we're focused on that win. And so when you begin to look at very successful people in life outside of the NFL, they always had a team. So, like, you'll say, uh, let me get what's a good example of a team? OK, uh, Bill Gates, mm -hmm. who was Mr. Allen. That was his teammate. OK, no one knows about the third or fourth richest man in the world. He died recently. That was Bill Gates, partner. Warren Buffett has a partner. Um, uh, uh, Mick Jagger was a singer. Well, who the heck is Keith Richards? I mean, you know, he didn't say much, but that was his partner. You know, uh, James Brown was a, an amazing musician, but he had other people. Who the heck is Maceo Parker? Who's Fred Wesley? You know. 
to be successful, I'm sorry, to win in life, you have to have effective and powerful teams because the designer created it that you will not have all the glory for yourself. You can't do it by yourself. And what winners do, winners find strategic partners to hold them accountable, to be mentored, to coach, to grow with, um, to enjoy life with in certain situations and circumstances, but you have to have strategic partners. And when I played football, you know what? We might not always, you know, liked each other or whatever, but when it was game time, it was like, baby, four quarters, we are here to win. I love that. Two lessons I learned playing football. Man, I love it. We are here to win. Everyone look right below the video and put play to win. Just look right below the video. And that might sound like, Shay, I get that intellectually. Shay, I understand that. But I want that to be deep down in your soul. I want that to be in your DNA. And even if you already have it there, here's one thing I know about all successful people. All successful people have one common belief. Do you know what that belief is? They can always get better. They can always get better. So I want you to look right below the video. I want to look right below that video and in that comment area. What's up, Sherry Wallace? Play to win. What's up, Tammy Lawrence? She says, amen two times. Shelly Shelton says, connect with winning. Thanks a lot. Venice said, play to win. Mario, what's up, Mario? Mario's in the house, says, this is fire. Hashtag play to win. You know, this is important. It doesn't get any more important than this right here. When Sean comes back, you're here with Sean Harper. I asked Sean, he said, Shay, you can ask any question you want. There was no requirement. He said, Shay, I showed up to serve. I'm going to ask him. He has a, a new book coming out. He has some fantastic things that are happening. I'm going to ask him in the next episode to kind of share with us maybe where you can connect with him at, uh, um, um, where you can get that at. We're going to come back to that to in a moment. But I also want to know who was on the journey with Sean. What mentors did he have? What's a lesson from his mentor that he can share with us? As you're listening right now, what's up, Ardis Brooks is on the, on the line. I see you. I see you. Play to win. Here's what I like to do. For all folks that are watching right now, I want you to go ahead and text the word revenue. Just text the word revenue. This is your year. This is your time. This is your month. You need revenue to get the resources in your business. Don't worry. I'm going to ask Sean about lessons in business and how he uses those lessons to expand his business, but I want you to text the word revenue right now. Text the word revenue to this number. Doesn't cost you anything. There's no cash app needed. No, no, there's no Zelly payment, no wire transfer, no credit card, no check. Just your time and effort. Text the word revenue. Text the word revenue to 202 999 3515. Do that now. Even if you've done it before, do it again. We're going to do something special for you. Text the word REVENUE to 202 999 3515. Once you text the word REVENUE, follow all of the instructions. And we're going to do something super duper. Get the bonus gift. I get it. You can see that right below there. Those, that's that's going to happen. But I want to do something special for you. I, I have two other questions that I have for uh, Sean Harper. One, who was some of his mentors? And we come back. He's going to share uh, mentors that he had who was along this journey with him. It might have been someone he worked with, might have been someone that was on his, a coach. We don't know yet, but we want to get the lessons that he learned from them that we can apply in our own life. And here's the good news. He's here to serve. I want to also share with them the close. And, and, and we'll, we'll pull that up. We'll pull that up, just the close. And for some of you right now that are, are watching right now, um, we're going to has something called closed conference. I know some of you want to generate unlimited revenue in your business. I know it's time for you to change your life. I know it's time for you to get all the resources. I always say revenue gives you all the resources you need in your business. And the only way for you to really serve the people you were called to serve is to have resources to do that. And I want to make sure you have those resources. It's my gift to you. So we want to give you all the resources generate more revenue, change your life, and help you achieve the success and happiness you truly want in your business. Let's go and show them the closed conference. And Sean, we come back.
It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm super excited. I'm over the moon, just enjoyed to be able to share this special VIP invitation for you to join me at the closeconference.com. Just look right below the video, look right below the video and go to close conference.com an opportunity for you to attend virtually or in person now who is this for if you're an entrepreneur if you're a speaker if you're a coach if you're a network marketer if you're in the personal professional development or you're just someone right now that is overwhelmed and overworked and you need to generate some qualified leads of people who want to work with you whether they come from online leads or offline leads then you need to be there or maybe you're someone that wants to you know you say well Shay Right now, I have what's called yo-yo entrepreneur type of revenue, right? At reasons, but no results. So it's time for you really to put together your own seven-figure revenue generating infrastructure so you can make more money without your labor. You can take back your time and you can take back your life. Then you want to be there. Or maybe you just want to be able to broadcast just like I'm doing right now. I'm at Broadcastpreneur Studios right here in this set right now. And you need to reach your audience online through the power of those fiber optic lines. Then you need to be at what? The closedconference.com or maybe it's just time for you to get all the resources you need in your business so you can serve the people you were called to serve and have more meaning in the world, have more impact in the world, and make a dollar and a difference at the same time. If that's you, look right below the video, look right below the video, and go to closeconference.com. I promise you, you'll learn about how to generate unlimited sponsorships. You'll learn about how to tell your story and have more impact. And more importantly, more importantly, you're going to have more success more joy and more happiness in your business. I'm so excited. Look, join me at closedconference.com. Share this with all your friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you. My promise to you is it'll be a good use of your time. My promise to you is that you're going to generate more revenue than you've ever generated before in your life and have more happiness. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you success. See you soon. Well, welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. I'm super excited because we're here with none other than the seven time NFL player, Sean Harper, who's also a business owner. He's sharing his time. He's sharing his expertise. He's sharing his experience. And more importantly, he's sharing his knowledge to help you. The question I had for Sean was who has been a mentor along the way? And what lessons have you learned? Because now you are a CEO of your business. Now you are focused on relationships and family. Now you are focused on your nutrition. Now you are focused on your finances. But it didn't happen overnight. No. So tell us a little bit about that, Sean. And then when you finish that, we're going to talk about how we can connect um, with, this, with this book that you have going on. There's something special yeah. I know we're going to do for everyone that's watching. You don't want to miss it. Do me a favor. Hit the share button. I asked Sean earlier if, if he can share this message forward. He gets paid to get on stages, but he said, Shay, the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe can share this message forward to their yeah. tribe, to their network, to other folks they know across platforms. And yes, Sean does speak to large audiences. Yes, Sean does speak to small audiences. Yes, Sean is available. And we're going to talk about how you connect with someone like Sean Harper. Maybe bring him to your organization. Maybe bring him to your church. Maybe bring him to your business. Maybe bring him to your stadium. Look, we'll get to that. But right now, let's let's get to the lessons that he's learned from his own mentors along this journey that he's had. Sean, what lessons have you learned from your mentors, man, that we can take away that we can learn as well? So I just want to focus on one mentor uh, whom I'm currently working with. And she's and she is working me over. And she's she's a beast. Uh, she's out of Kerrville, Texas. Her name is Danny Johnson. And I've been working with her for several years now. Um, I started off because I own a security firm. Uh, I started off by doing security for her. And I was able to watch her. And I don't know if you know much about security or security guards or a bodyguard. They see everything. You know, so I'm able to see what's going on when the lights are off and, you know, no one's watching. And it just it's just this is what's happening you know there's no lights on the stage it's just you know behind the scenes and it man it's, it's just 
her life lined up 100%. And over the years, she began to mentor me. She began to correct me. She began to direct me. And uh, she's an actual uh, multi, multi, multi-millionaire, homeless at 19, 21, 22 years of age. She was a, a multi-millionaire. And one of the things that she uh, taught me that was so amazing is that you have to be faithful over the little. You have to be faithful uh, over what's been given to you. And if you can be faithful over the little, then much, much more will be given to you. Are you prospering where you're planted? You know, sometimes, you know, you know people are like, you know what, man, I want to get out. I want to start my own company and I'm not going to put a lot of effort into this because my heart and, you know, what I want to do is over there. And that's the biggest mistake you can make because Every day when you show up to work, you are sowing. Every day when you show up to work, you are investing and you are planting. And if your heart and if you're not prospering where you're planted, the spiritual laws will work against you. So when you start your own endeavor, it will not prosper. It will not grow because you're going to reap what you sow. Uh, if you are faithful over the little, and I've watched her. I remember when I was doing security for her and we went to a Trader Joe's. It was a true story. And she is haggling. This is a multi, multi millionaire. And she's haggling over five cents on some daggone avocados. And I said, ma'am, I can cover that. She turned, put her finger up and she rebuked me. She said, I am faithful to the penny. And I was like, wow. And I have seen God bless her for that. And then I began to examine the lives of other multi, multi millionaires and Every single one of them have that one thing in common. They are faithful over the little. So I've been actually applying that to my life and I have seen the results. It is absolutely amazing. The other thing that I've learned is the power of agreement. The power of agreement is so powerful that in a corporation, in an actual corporate setting, when everyone's on the same page, same mission, moving with the same energy, there is nothing you can't do. In fact, if you look at the Bible, God is talking about the Tower of Babel, and he's having a conversation. He's like, look, they are with one vision and one language. And then he says something that's amazing, because this is God saying this, right? He said, there is nothing they can't do. We have to intervene now. Two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst. One can send a thousand, two can send two thousand, I'm ten thousand. Work on agreement. Work on being on the same page. And when you move on the same page, as I mentioned earlier, you don't move um, together better. You move as one. Wow. wow. You don't move together. Oh. You move as yeah. one. Powerful lesson. I know we're in overtime, Sean. I appreciate you being here. Um, we're going to share with them how they can get this gift. That was a very powerful lesson. I love that. Faithful over the little things. How you do the small things is how you do everything. That's just the remix version, but I, that was powerful. That was powerful. Someone do me a favor. Look below the video. Look below the video, and I want you to write these things. Do small things well get big results. Just look right below the video. Look right below the video right now and just write these words. Do small things well. Drinking water. You heard Sean talking about drinking water. I'm like, drinking water, Sean. Small thing, but he says he wants to do more of it. Do small things well. Get big results. He talked about Danny Johnson haggling over five cents. Look, not haggling, but making sure she was faithful to the penny. Do small things well. Get big results. What small things do you need to do in your life? to get the bigger results. What do you need to be faithful over right now? What gets measured gets managed. You're talking to Sean Harper. When you come back, Sean, I want you to give them the site to go to, uh, how they can connect with you. Um, I, I, I will, I can't let you go because we're going to show right now um, how to run your business, how to run your business with Letitia. We're going to show that in just a moment. But I, I got to get from you. I mean, I've got to just hear it from you. How did you become a motivational speaker? Because that's what you do. You, you, you empower you motivate, but you also give people lessons they can leave with when they finish hearing from you. So you don't just inspire them and get them encouraged and get them excited and then leave them. You give them very specific things that they can do that if they execute on those things, it will change their life. It will change their business. It will change their relationship. It will change their finances. It will change their nutrition. So yeah, I, they want to know how you got to be a motivational speaker, but then I want you to tell them how they can connect with you if they want to contact your office, maybe to bring you in. And then 
you know, I know there's a little bonus gift you got. I've been holding out on him, man. I've been holding out, but we're in overtime, so we got to come down the home stretch. So let's go if we can. Let's go, and we want to. We want to thank. We're, we're here at Broadcast Studio, Broadcast Panua Studios. They're doing a wonderful, amazing job. Just super duper incredible. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. You've got to connect. You got to connect. Kimberly Flowers is super duper amazing. I want to make sure I say that. I want to make sure I let them know I appreciate her and all the hard work. Her team is doing. Let's let let's go if we can and show run your business. And then we'll be back with none other than Sean Harper. Hello, everyone. It's your girl Letitia Nicole, and I am the CEO founder of Speak Life Enterprises, where we teach awesome entrepreneurs how to use powerful words to shape their reality. And today is my January the 1st. But before I get started, I would like to say thank you so much to Shay Brown, the CEO and founder of this amazing group of happy entrepreneurs. You guys are simply wonderful and amazing. So I'll begin today by telling you my theme of the month. My theme of the month is called run. You heard me. I said run. Run your business in such a way that you are going to win. I'm going to say it again. Run your business in such a way that you are going to win. And I got a short story for you. It was once upon a time where I was running my business for everybody else. I was doing everything else that, that folks said I should do, running my race their way, and I wasn't winning. But when I got concise to my vision, and wrote it out and made it plain for me and was okay with my voice, I was able to run my own race in such a way that I began winning. So until next time, write out your race. So you run your business. You know, that's so synonymous with play to win. One thing we believe here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, is we have a core value. And our core value is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. So you got to get results in your life first. You're here with none other than Sean Harper, seven time NFL player business owner, great family man, great community service person, big heart, just a kind human being. I cannot say that enough. Sean, how did you become a motivational speaker, number one? And number two, how can folks connect with you or your office if they're interested in bringing you into their organization, into their company, into their government facility, um, into their playground? I mean, how do they do that? And then last, 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 um, I know you got a bonus gift for them. Don't give it away yet. We, we, we're doing it on the last segment. This is the second to last segment. Don't, don't give them the bonus gift yet because they got to connect with the book. They got to hang in there just a little bit longer because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. Your action is to stay here. <laughs> Sean, how did you become a motivational speaker in all seriousness? So, so two things happened. One, um, I was in the, uh, actually in the fifth grade and my fifth grade teacher asked me, you know, I'm stuttering. You know, I've stuttered my entire life. I couldn't complete a sentence till college, right? So I don't know why in God's name did my fifth grade teacher ask me to read a poem. She said, Sean, write a poem and read it over the PA system in the entire for the entire school. You're going to represent the fifth grade. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm st st stuttering, right? And she's like, I don't care. You do it, Miss Jennings. And so I write this poem. This crazy, like, twinkle star, you far in a car. Something corny, right? And it was at that moment. I mean, I had that mic in my hand. It was like, boom. And then fast forward to Indiana University. Um, at It was sociology class. And this lady came up to me, a student, and she said, Sean, do you notice how people look at you when you talk? I said, no. She said, pay attention. So Thursday, I'm speaking in sociology class on I raised my hand and everyone's watching. And it was those two moments kind of just crystallized that when I started playing football, they asked athletes to come speak. And um, on the off season, and I would always volunteer. And I was thinking that when I was finished playing football, that the speaking engagements would kind of taper off a bit. And it 
the exact opposite happened. And that created the foundation for me to start speaking in corporate America, uh, breakout sessions, schools, churches. I love churches. And uh, the rest is history. Wow. Wow. It's, it's amazing how it all starts with that little seed that was there yeah. that, that was planted, by the way. Uh, Letitia Nicole, who you just heard from, says she needed this tonight. She's watching right now. You know, some of the best teachers are the best students. They show up to teach, but they're taught. She's in the front row right now saying, Sean, I needed to hear this. Anissa said, Sean is an atmosphere shifter. Got to get this man to an event. I mean, Sean, they're watching right now. You've got to answer the question, man. You got to share with them. How do they connect with your office, man? Um, do they call somewhere? Do they go to a website? Um, you just, you just, you just have a heart of gold, and I want to thank you. Um, go ahead and share with them how they can connect with you. Share, share with them how they connect with you, and then we come back. I want you to give away the gift, and then we're going to close up shortly. But I want to, I want to share with them how they can plan, prepare, and push. But um, how can they connect with you? I like that plan, prepare, and push. No, no, no. <laughs> plan, prepare, and push. It's coming up. It's, 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 it's like the next segment, man. It's the next segment. Anyway. Um, <laughs> My website is seanharper.org, Sean with a W, uh, seanharper.org. You can go to that website. Uh, there's a, a place where you can hit the inquiry and you can fill out the form on there. You can hit me up on uh, Facebook, Aaron Sean Harper, which is my real name, uh, Aaron Sean Harper there as well. Uh, I have, I'm all over, all over the internet, just phone numbers. You can Google my name and it'll go to the website. But SeanHarper.org, go to that website, and my information is there. And I am available. I am accessible. Um, and I would love to invest. I would love to pour out. I love it. That's what I'm called to do. Wow. It's what I'm called to do. Let's go over to plan, prepare, and push. When we come back, I'm going to ask Sean about plan, prepare, to push. and give. He's going to give away the special gift, the bonus gift you've been waiting for. He's going to give you a website or somewhere you can connect and get it. Let's go right over to Anisha over in Las Vegas. Plan, prepare, push. Take it away. So, hey, my name is Anisha Garrett from Elise & Co., and I'm super excited to be here with you guys in the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. Now, today is my January 1st, and that means so much to me, you guys, because I approach every day with that same enthusiasm that too many of us reserve for the first of the year. So how do I do that? I have a little system that I use. It's called Plan, Prepare, and Push. And it just helps me stay focused. I'm busy, just like you guys. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I have my business. There's a lot going on, and I know you can totally relate to that. So. The system works like this. You've got to plan. And planning just gives you clarity. Clarity is the best gift you can give yourself. So whether it's a big, big goal or a little goal, you got to know exactly what that is so now you can start to get prepared. That's when you're putting it on your calendar, you're getting the resources that you need to do it. And then once you're planned, you prepared, you're clear, you get to push, push, push push now that's when we jump back to that january 1st mentality because i want you to do it with the biggest enthusiasm i want you to be excited that you get another chance at this so today is your january 1st today is my january 1st every day can be your january 1st because you get the opportunity to wake up and get at it again so i can't wait to see what you guys do here in the happy entrepreneur tribe i know you guys are the ones who take action you take action on your ideas you take action to get closer to your goals because every day is your january 1st so i'm gonna see you doing that with great enthusiasm that's not reserved for the first of the year i know we are going at it and we are getting in it so remember plan prepare and push until i talk to you guys again make it an amazing day make it an amazing week and i can't wait to see you guys checking off all of those things on your to-do list that are going to get you one step closer to accomplishing your goals plan prepare push plan prepare and push you're here at the happy entrepreneur show the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country you're here with the sean harper seven time nfl football player you just finished listening to anish talk about plan prepare push look right below the video look right below the video and write those words plan prepare and then you push plan prepare and then you push what do you push to do you push because you play to win baby you play to yeah. win 
you know, my father used to always say, Sean, that it's not enough. He said this to my, to my kids and to his grandkids. And my father passed away in May 2nd of 2017. He's no longer with us. But one of his favorite sayings always was that it's not enough to just be the best. You must get around the best of the best and become what? The best of the best. The only way to do that is get around better people that are doing better things than you and become the best of the best. Not in a competition perspective, but that's the only way to raise your standards. Because when you play to win, you got to continue to do what? Raise your standards. And for some of you, that doesn't mean you're slouching because only winners want to raise your standards. Only the best of the best play to win and they're always competing against themselves and we're the hardest on ourselves. And so Sean is in double overtime and we're coming to a close. He's in double overtime right now, but he's so gracious with his time. I'm so appreciative of him. It's so humble. I'm so, so glad that he's here. I'm going to ask him obviously to come back. I'm going to ask him if he'll share his thought of the week um, with the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. Um, when he's, he's, he, I know he's on the road. I know he has a wife. He has a son that's playing football right now. He travels. He, he runs a business. But, Sean, as you're listening right now, we, we would be so humble for two things. And I want you to give away this free gift, this gift that you have. We'd be humble if you do two things. And I know you got a schedule, okay? But number one, I want you to come back. And I want you to come back and, and be able to really teach. I know today I kind of interrupted you and jumped it in, and we were just all over the place, but I was just feeling it. And, and, and I thank you for going along with me. And so come back. That's number one. Number two if you would take time out of your schedule, any place, anywhere, and share with us your thought of the week for the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe so they can play to win. That's my two hmm. questions. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> I like Sean. He's like, okay. Yeah. I mean, because trust me, when you say that, you know what? I'm just going to ask you questions. In fact, I even forgot the first question already. But the second question, <laughs> I got that one is the thought of the week is um, leaving room leaving room for failure mm. leaving room give giving giving yourself grace to fall down giving yourself grace to miss the mark giving yourself forgiving yourself um um, for not being, you know, a number one all the time, especially, especially as, especially as an entrepreneur, that will kill you. Your expectations will kill you. You have to uh, 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 put your expectations of yourself and others. You got to put it in check mm. because you can hold the carrot so far out that you know what I'm not me meeting or I'm not measuring up to what I feel I should do, what I feel I should be, man, that will choke you out faster than anything else. Give yourself some uh, leeway. Give yourself some grace because you will fall down. You will get knocked down. But when you get knocked down, not if you get knocked down, when you get knocked down, when you fail, when you may have to close uh, a division or close a company or redirect, you know, you can weeble, you wobble, but you don't fall down. But when you get put on your back, if you if you can look up, baby, you can get up mm. and you get up, you put your fist up, man. And sometimes you throw jabs and sometimes you throw haymakers. But you play to win because you are a winner. And that's what you do. You manifest the win. It might not come today. It might not come tomorrow. But you're going to win. Because that's who God created you to be. Submit to him. Yield to him. And play to win. Wow. I love that. Now, manifest the win. Wow. wow. Can I stop you for one second? Yeah. Go ahead. I have to 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 acknowledge Ngazi because we talked about this earlier um, about your network is your net worth. And I promise you, man, you have made me so rich just watching you. I've never heard of you, but uh, she's like was screaming your name for days. And finally, I just said, you know what? Off of your word, Ngazi, I'm going to connect with this amazing man, uh, 
Mr. Brown. And so I just want to thank you. I know that you're on here, but that just goes to show the power of an actual network. So I just want to sow that seed out there um, and 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 just talk about that because gratitude is another spiritual law that you have to implement. So thank you. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate your openness. Um, I appreciate your willingness to support what we're doing here at the Happy yeah. Entrepreneur Show. Um, I appreciate you inviting me out. You invited me out to a, a conference we went to. It was Danny Johnson event. Yeah. It was like something like, I don't know, $3,000 a ticket or whatever it was. He said, Shay, come as my guest bring someone with you and we were there for three days and you were like you're gonna be here for all three days i said i'm gonna be right there man <laughs> you were there, right there baby days. i'm gonna oh, be right man. there it's money man it is money. he's like really i said no i will be right <laughs> there us. you know what i'm supposed to talk about this this gift thing right yeah yeah in a minute no no hold the gift thing hold the gift thing Okay, I promise he's gonna come right back, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna give away the gift and have closing comments. We're gonna do that right now. I wanna acknowledge Karen Cherry. She's out there right now with Success Women's Conference. An amazing human being. Yeah. Sean's gonna be speaking there. He's gonna be live. He's gonna be on the stage. I can't wait. He is a rock star in himself. And one thing I like about Sharon is she, Karen Cherry, she's always giving, she's always showing up, she's right there in the feed. Someone do me a favor, look right below the video. Karen started off, she said, manifest the win. Manifest the win. Yeah, we're going to play the win, but we're going to manifest the win. We're going to manifest yes. that win. And that win is whatever you determine that win to be. So do me a favor. And then look right below the video, look right below the video, just write these words. Manifest the win. At Sean Harper. Just put manifest the win, hashtag Sean Harper. Just put manifest, for everyone that does manifest the win and puts hashtag Sean Harper, that's the bat signal. That's the bat signal. <laughs> that you are all aboard. That you didn't just show up to be inspired. You ain't show up to be empowered. You're not going to just close this down. These lights are going to go off. This camera will come to a close. These fiber optic lines will be turned off. But tomorrow when you wake up, you got to manifest to win. You've got to take action. You've got to be consistent. You've got to have the discipline. Don't have time to get you. That's a topic for another time. But you look right below the video. Look right below the video like Char Charlene Day. Charlene Day, what's up? What you doing up? Manifest the win. And Gazi said, oh, Sean. Gazi, what are you doing still up? She says, I'm here in the place. Chrissy Anderson said, manifest the win. Tammy Lawrence said, manifest the the win. Mimi. Mimi has two girls, by the way. They're two twins, Sean. I think they're 11 years old. She regularly keeps them up. Not tonight. They have school, but she watches the show. She has them watch the show as well. They're entrepreneurs. They see the replay. I, I'd be remiss. She would, like, she would like send me a dozen emails. I'm joking. If you don't just at least take a minute to say something to her two entrepreneur girls who she makes watch these shows. I think she likes me. I hope they like me. Um, when they have experts like you on here. Uh, what words of empowerment can you give to Mimi? She's on here right now. She says, I'm going to manifest the win. She's going to make her daughter say manifest the win. They're sleeping right now. They got to get to go to school in the morning, by the way, but she's here right now. She just posted, yes, Shay, they're going to catch the replay. All right, Mimi, I just saw it. I'm going to ask Sean to take a minute or two and speak directly to the two twins who regularly show up and they have to repeat the affirmation. So Sean, the affirmation tomorrow when they get up is manifest the win manifest the win. What do you say to, um, I know your son's in, in high school now, but what do you say to two 11 year olds <laughs> um, that are entrepreneurs that have a little lemonade business, they start another little drawing business. Um, what do you say to those two individuals? And then we're gonna go ahead and talk about fear. You're gonna show the fear one, and then we're gonna close it out when we come back. You're gonna give away the gift and your final comments. But here's the question. Two young girls, um, 11 years old, Here's your comments from Sean Harper, NFL player, seven years, business owner. He's going to take time right now to speak directly to you. Sean, take it away. Man, you know what? First of all, that is absolutely amazing that you are at the age of 11 and that you have an entrepreneur um, mindset, motion, spirit. You know what? Awesome. Great job. Keep that up. Fight for that. OK, um, but. I would I would just want to want to encourage you, um, first of all, listen to mom and dad, listen to mom, every word that mom says, listen, listen to your parents. Number one. Number two, I want to um, encourage you 
to find other entrepreneurs, maybe a little older than you, maybe, you know, actual adults get mom's approval and model, go to their office, go to their business, watch what they do, ask questions, never stop asking questions, ask them, write down a list. You should have it no less than 50 questions. And that whenever you meet them, whenever mom takes you over there and you ask the questions and then you challenge them to give you assignments and whatever the assignment that they give that mom approves, then you complete the task and get it back to them in a timely fashion. You start that now and I guarantee you because some information is taught and some information is caught. So that will expand your capacity. So by the time you're their age, in 20s, 30s, 40s, I'll tell you what, you're going to knock it out the park because you're going to gather knowledge and you're going to gather wisdom. God, I love what you do. Manifest the wind, Sean. You're, you're amazing. For everyone that's out there right now, she, the girls are launching their business in two to three months. They're, they'll be helping everyone else. So thanks a lot. She mentioned that right now. Thank you, Sean, for sharing that. Um, do me a favor, everyone, because we're closing up. I'm going to have Sean give away the gift. I have not forgot. And we're going to show you fear uh, from Dr. Shana Lewis. I have not forgot. But I want you to give Sean a digital applause. He's in like triple overtime right now. He doesn't know that, but we're coming to an end. Um, <laughs> I got I, my call. I got he's my he's call. like in triple overtime. He, he, he's, he's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's okay. I'm good. But look I'm right good. below the video, and I want you to do a digital applause. And for those folks that are hearing what a digital applause is, you're saying, Shay, what in the LL Cool J is a digital applause? I don't know what one is. It's okay. Follow the instructions. Look right below the video and put, thank you, Sean. Or put, Sean, we appreciate you. Or just put, Sean, great job. Or clap, clap, clap with the hands below. Or hit the heart button. Or hit the like button. That's your signal that you appreciate Sean. He's giving up his time. He's giving up his expertise. He's giving up his talent. And you know, one thing about Sean, he can always make more money. I promise you that. But he can never make more time. So he's giving you the most precious resource that he has right now. So you look right below the video. You look right below the video and put awesome. I'll put thank you, Sean. That's a digital applause from all of you, the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe, that has allowed him to do this at no cost. He didn't ask for one penny. He's going to give away his gift. So I want to make sure you get his gift now. He didn't ask for one penny, but he did it out of love. So let's, let's give him a, a great job. Uh, Tammy Lawrence says, great job, Sean. Thank you so much. Mimi put, thank you, Mr. Sean Harper, in all capitals and all asses where you should have. He just said, did a shout out to uh, Phoebe, and I forgot your other daughter's name. He gave a shout out to him, so that's good. Tabitha's put, thank you, Sean. Sharon L. Wallace said, thank you so much for your time and knowledge, Sean. Uh, as Tina Williams put, awesome job, Sean Harper. Dr. Shana Lewis, who we're going to show right now in a minute with fear, said, thank you, Sean. Excellent information. Kim Lennox says, thank you, Sean. Mary says, thank you, Sean. And Gazi said, clap, clap, clap. You know me. Holla. Holla at your girl. Um, um, Ardina Brooks says, thank you for being a blessing today. Uh, Albert Walker says, thank you so much, Sean. Arissa says, yes, time is an asset that you can never get back. Thank you so much Sean Karen said powerful 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 Sean, you're appreciated Sean your love the happy entrepreneur tribe just loves you man loves you with that being said we're gonna show fear we come back we're done Sean's gonna give away this amazing gift and he's gonna have his closing comments for every single one of you so you can go out there and play to win and manifest the win Karen Cherry said can't wait to meet you Sean at success women's conference Lily Lily's still up by the way says so much wisdom, so much wisdom. She's still up. Oh my gosh. All right, let's let's go ahead and let's go and show fear, and then Sean's gonna close it out. We gotta go. I know, I know. Take it away. Take hey family, this is your girl, Dr. Shana, and founder of your Extraordinary Life Network. And today is my January 1st. I'm so happy to share the thought of the day with the happy entrepreneur tribe. Now, my thought actually comes in the form of a question. What would you do if you were not afraid? Now, what I know is that fear is a very debilitating emotion. It's something that can paralyze us and keep us from moving forward at all. But what you got to understand is that your superpower is facing the things that you're afraid of and not allowing those things to stop you in your tracks. I want you to ask yourself tonight, what are you afraid of? What question have you been afraid to ask? What place have you been afraid to go? What investment have you been afraid to make in yourself? What thing have you been afraid to do? And instead of sitting in fear, I'm encouraging you to walk in courage and do the thing that you've been so afraid of. 
You see, your superpower is actually facing the thing you're afraid of. It is. Instead of deciding to allow fear to run you, you look fear in the face and you say, I will not allow you to decide for me. I tell you what to do. You don't get to tell me what to do. So ask the question tonight, family. What would I do if I was not afraid? And whatever your answer is, that's the thing that you must go do. You must do it. You must walk in it and do it and courage. And that will move you forward to that extraordinary life. The one that you are so well deserving of. Now here's to your extraordinary life. Until next time. Welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show. We just heard from Dr. Sheena Lewis on fear. How important is that? Did you have to overcome that so you can manifest your win? We're here with Sean Harper, NFL seven-time, seven-year player, business owner, family man, husband, father, serves in his church, serves his community, heart of gold, heart to give, the Sean Harper. Sean Harper, what is, number one, what is the gift that give to every single one of these folks here. Um, I know you have a special site. I know you have your book. Ebook is out right now. Uh, tell them how they can go get it. Tell them how they can receive that. Tammy Lawrence wanted to know that Kaboom, you've just been awesome. All out awesome, by the way. Can't read everybody's, but Sean, how can they get this free gift that you have, my brother? Yeah, so my first book is called The Winning Edge. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, having, you know, the, the actual learning disabilities, stuttering, uh, voted most likely to fail just at the bottom of the barrel that I I realized that I could that that I could not be successful according to the world standard but I can win and when I made that shift you know that paradigm shift by the way all wealth is created in paradigms and when I uh, made that shift to winning I was able to develop or to discover tactics and strategies. And so in the book called The Winning Edge, um, it talks about, you know, seven, to eight different uh, eight principles that can bring out the winner in you. But the good news for today, and it just got it finished, actually, is that I'm that I'm giving away a free download to that book. And if you go to Sean Harper, S-H-A-W-N-H-A-R-P-E-R dot C-O, not not dot com, but dot C-O, uh, you can get a free copy of that book. Uh, it's going to be for a limited time, I believe, um, and uh, probably for the next 48 hours maybe. But if you go there, you will get a free copy of that book. But if I could take just one minute to close out, would that be okay? Yes, yes. I want you definitely to close out. What is what is okay. the website they need to go to again? Sh uh, Sean Harper, uh, S-H-A-W-N-H-A-R-P-E-R dot C-O, not dot com but just dot co okay so someone someone do me a favor and then sean i'm gonna give you the closing comments in a second so you're going to close this out strong my man do me a favor everyone right now type in www.seanharper.co we're all gonna go there right now first we're gonna make sure it works right away <laughs> <laughs> okay the site you got to check see the site that comes up and then once you go there someone look right below the video right now and i want you to type that site in now you can do that just type in www.seanharper.co, Sean, S-H-A-W-N, harper.co. Once you type that in, I'm there now. Oh, man, that's a, that's a cool, man, I didn't get that video. Look at, look at that. I'm going to call Lily. I like that one. <laughs> Lily, what's up? No, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm going to have to take that off the website. No, I'm messing with you. What is going on? Um, but this is pretty cool. Award-winning book, The Winning Edge, limited time. You can pick up the free ebook. Sean, why did you decide to just share this with the world? And do people have your permission to take this website? Can they share it with their team? Can they share it with their organization? Can they share it with their church? Can they share it with the with their football teams or sports teams or share it with Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts? Do they have your permission to pay that site for it? I wanna make sure that that's okay. You can forward that um, as much as you want, please do. It's okay. a gift. Okay, so you can, they, you can do yeah. it. So here's what I want everybody to do. Everyone hit, hit the share button. There's a share button right there. And this is how you pay it for it. He's not, look, he's not asking for a dime. He's, he just said, look, he's paying this for it. Hit the share button right now. Hit the share button and say, get the winning edge book. No cost. www.seanharper.co. 
you can hit the share button. You can hit the share button. Now, some of you hit the share button one time, and you're going to share it to your Facebook page. And you're going to put, get the award-winning book, The Winning Edge, at seanharper.co. seanharper.co. But then I know some of you, you, try, you want to manifest the win. I know some of you, you showed up not only to receive, but to give. So some of you are going over to Instagram right now. Some of you are going over to Twitter right now. Some of you belong in private Facebook groups or Facebook pages that we're not even associated with. And all I'm going to ask is you put that link right there and let them know this is a gift from Sean Harper. This is his gift to the world. Go to www.seanharper.co. Do it right now. Like right now, copy that link right now. I appreciate Ramona put the link right below. Thank you. Cheryl put the link right below. Thank you. Kim Lennox is on. Thank you. Kimberly Flowers put the link. Thank you so much. Uh, Morella over in Australia put the link down. Thank you so much. Make sure you put the link below and then hit the share button. Hit the share button. And we want to pay this message for it. And you can even go to your phone right now. And if you got a one friend or two friends or your best of your best, you can go ahead and share that book for it right now. Just matter of fact, open up your... Sean, I'm coming right to you, man, but this is so powerful. I mean, no one's ever come on this one and just give it all away. This is like crazy, but it's Sean Harper, so I shouldn't expect anything less. He shows up to win. Manifest the win, baby. So go over right now to your cell phone, open it up, and just type the website and send that to a friend. No, no, no. Go to your Facebook friends list and find a friend right now and, and just share that link with. No, no, no. Do it now. Do it now. You don't need no credit card. Do it now. And then some of you are looking right below, and when you put the website, tag somebody. Say, go get this now. And the reason I'm asking you to do that is not because there's you know, a direct result for me or for Sean. It's because we know you're going to bless someone else. You're going to bless another entrepreneur. You're going to bless another husband, another wife another friend, another uncle, another aunt, somebody has to get up tomorrow morning or someone's going to share it with a teenager. They're going to share it with someone that plays sports. They're going to share it with someone that's in high school. They're going to share it with someone that's in college. And you know what? You're going to plant the seed. So Sean, I want to, I want to first thank you for, for being on the Happy Entrepreneur yes. Show. Um, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for, I mean, I know this is like triple overtime, but, um, and we didn't know it was going to go this long. We really didn't. But you showed up. You showed out and you gave the best. You certainly manifested the win and you came to plan to win. So everyone right now, go to seanharper.co. If you haven't done it, share it on Facebook. Share it to a friend. Send it in a text message. Put it in a group. Go get the book right now. You have his permission. If you have a team and you're in network marketing, guys, yeah. said you can share it with your whole downline. Share yeah. it with your upline. Share it with your downline. Share it with your crossline. Pay it for it. Sean, thanks a lot, man. We appreciate you. You're just yeah. an incredible human being. I've met you. I met your wife. Got a chance to meet your son when I was there. Looking forward to connecting with you again. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Um, it's going to be amazing over at Success Women's Conference. Looking forward to breaking bread. With that being said, man, I want you to have the final comments, man. Um, as folks go, when you finish, we're done. We're going to close it out. It's kapush. It's kapish. It's over. But I got to say thank you, man. I love no. you. I appreciate you, and on behalf of the whole happy entrepreneur tribe, we're going to manifest the win tomorrow morning, baby. Manifest the win. Yeah. Take it away, Sean. Well, what I want to share is not particularly motivational. Um, this, is, this is from one CEO entrepreneur to another. Um, there are dark moments. There are moments, where, and I know you're like a motivational speaker saying this. Yes, listen, listen, listen. High, strong, high energy. Just sometimes you get lonely because it's lonely at the top. Leadership gets lonely. You don't read that in books. It's okay. It's okay. I want to encourage you to, 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 to seek a confidant. Seek somebody who you can be transparent with. Seek somebody out who can speak the truth and love to you. Because, yes, I get lonely. I get upset. I get depressed at times. It happens. It's human. We're all, it happens to everyone in the industry. I'm going to tell you. So I know it could probably happen to you as well. If that's you, listen, don't fight this game alone. 
pray for somebody who you can partner with, that you can be transparent with. Say, you know what? I'm having a rainy day. You know what? I'm depressed. You know what? I'm angry. I'm feeling insecure. Please, because may I tell you what? As an entrepreneur, holding that in, it will kill you. It will break you down. Get help, get encouragement, and get back in the fight and play this game to win because you are a winner. You're a winner. God bless, Sean. Thank you so much. With that being said, you've all been watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. If you want to get the replay, text the word REVENUE. Text the word REVENUE to 202-999-3515. We'll send you the note and the special bonus gift. With that being said, I see many of you over at the Happy Entrepreneur's Tribe is where the magic takes place, where we all come together. With that being said, my name, for those folks that are tuning in and don't know, my name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, I promise you, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and I wish you success. See you soon. Please Bye-bye. go ahead and give Bye-bye. a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm, I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, ready. Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. No, none other than Andy Harikas and... And we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, Woo-hoo! everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, we no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can get what you know. And every time I step Man. up in the building, everybody yes. has no way. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. I guess we're yeah.